always being there for me. Thank you for covering me with the blood of your son. You want to thank God your what? Somebody really said amen too. The disrespect in this video is disturbing. Thanking God for the blood of his son, but yet you're going against everything the Lord died for. Look how far the world has pushed us away from God. We got Cardi B thanking God for things the devil has gave her. This woman raps about fornication, and she's on here thanking God for the blood of Jesus, which means she knows the Lord died for her sins. The sad thing is you got so many people listening to this and really thinking the Lord is blessing her for her sins. The Lord don't bless you for that. That is the devil giving you gifts. The devil offered Jesus the whole world, and the devil can give you the whole world. But when you thank God for that, you are manipulating children into believing that God really gave that to you. I didn't give you that, Cardi. You need to repent. And everybody following her footsteps needs to repent. Let us know your thoughts. So just, just, just stop it already. Just stop. I'm going to be successful. I have really great faith in God. And I'm not even trying to be like a, a, a thing, but I noticed something. Like, it's like, I have changed my ways a lot. Because I noticed in order, in order for me to be successful, I have to have a clean mind. And I have to have good intentions. For God to bless you because God knows your heart. You know, you could be out here donating. You could be out here donating money. You could be out here fucking trying to save the world. You could be out here doing the greatest things. But if you're doing it with a dirty heart or if you're doing it with bad intentions or you're doing it for self intentions, it just won't count. Because at the end of the day, yeah, people are going to see it. But God knows why you doing it. So that's why I have been... I, everything that I do, I always... like. Let's say if I, if I think something. like Let's say if I see somebody and I think they look weird. I ask God for forgiveness for my thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Like You got to ask God for forgiveness for your thoughts. You got to have ask, ask God for forgiveness. Like sometimes I be spazzing out on people because I'm upset. And I, ask, and I ask God for forgiveness. For spazzing out for being in a bad moment and like that's why i feel like i've i've been so lucky because you just gotta like you just gotta wash and rinse your heart because god knows your heart bro and that's why i feel like i'm just like man blessed bro and when and let me tell you something stop praying on people's downfall don't pray on people down for. I don't pray on people down for even if they're my enemy. You want to know why? Because just because you your, they they your enemy, just because somebody is your enemy, that still don't take away that they still God's child. So you can't pray to God about his about bad things on their child. You can't. That's why you can't pray on people's downfall. A lot of people pray for they, my downfall. A lot of people just be like, I can't wait till this and that happen to her. Oh my God, when is she going to be over? When is she going to do that? When you do that, y'all don't y'all don't even realize that y'all taking away your own blessings. Because God don't want you to wish bad on their child. And even if you hate a person so bad, you still got to remember that they still got child. They your enemy. And if you think that your enemy is doing something fucked up, the only person that could punish them is always going to be God. And God is always going to bring their thing, not you. So don't pray on your on your enemy, on your ops um downfall cuz that's just gonna that's just gonna that's just gonna give you your downfall. Cuz God is not God is, God is not going to punish somebody because you asked for it. He's going to punish somebody because he feels like they deserve it. Now, with what God has given us, or we, or we come out to God as ungrateful because we are just so focused on the negative shit. And you just got to 
be on the positive shit. Like I said, I will pack out. A I will pack out. Production is happy, and I'm upset because somebody probably called me ugly, or somebody called me ghetto, or somebody called me ratchet, or somebody said that I'm not worthy of my career. So I'm not enjoying what I pray God for in the first place. Like I pray to God before I get on stage for me to have a packed show and for me to have a lit crowd and God gave me that and then it's like okay I gave you that but you're not happy because somebody said some fuck shit on the internet like bitch like God probably looking at me like bitch you are un you ungrateful so it's like that's why I stopped being that's why I started um um being more positive about things about you know like about about things and shit and you know i gotta spread these type of things because the same way that i spread like uh you know the same way that i talk my ratchet shit the same way that i talk my ghetto shit i gotta i gotta give y'all some words of god because that's what god wants you to do god wants you to promote him like god wants you to love him god wants you to spread the message like god is a blessing to my life so i know that god wants like to share him to the world uh i well, anyways uh to people that don't believe in god and have other religion i'm not trying to make ya i'm not trying to make ya like you know like like i'm not trying to persuade ya into my religion into my belief i'm just speaking on my my belief i respect everybody's religion i don't care if, if you if whatever you 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 practice i'm just speaking on my shit so that's why I want to spread the message of God today. Not a me not a message of God, but just like a, a a testimony from from my my life. You know what I'm saying? Like just just a testimony of of my life and how things have been a little better. How uh, I've been a little bit more healthier because like it, it gets crazy. Like like you know get. Okay, Seeing a million of fucking shits about you, you get a little crazy. But it's just like you you gotta find your peace. And um, sometimes you know you ask God for money, you ask God for abundance, you ask God for health. You gotta ask God for peace, and you gotta ask God for happiness because money and money and fame and everything that doesn't bring you happiness. So you always gotta ask God. What will bring you happiness to your mind? And always ask God. And before you ask God for something, when y'all pray, make sure you're asking for forgiveness. And and to take away bad thoughts from your head. I told God to take away bad thoughts from my head because it's just like I told him, take when I pray to God, I be asking him like take away every negative thought that I have. You know what I'm saying? Um Cause you know I might have a thought of wanting to kill somebody Like or just I hate somebody Fuck that person It's just like God Take that feeling away from my mind Take that feeling away from my mind Take that negative energy away from my mind Take any type of jealousy Take any type of evil away from my mind Always ask that to God Because just because you're not doing something When you think about something To me that's a sin as well That's like that, Like to me like Cheating and thinking about cheating is the same. So it's like, you know, just because you're not sinning, if you're thinking about sin, to me, that's like sinning as well. So also ask God to take that shit away from your mind. I'm annoying, right? I talk too much. See, I guess people don't like when I talk about God because my views going lower, but it's okay. As long as, as, long as I, pr I pray it, as, as long as I preach it, as long as God knows where I'm coming from, that's good enough for me.